Greetings, everybody. It's getting close to Christmas! So, um, let me make sure the recording test is going. And I will go ahead and say that I figured this puzzle out. I had the same, I, I had the right idea. But I have this thing with video game puzzles that it, it bugs me until I figured it out. I figured it out. So, um, what I did, and I swear the volume gets louder and louder. Let's see, options, sound, it's a little bit, well that sounds good to me. But uh, I went back on after, right, pretty much right after I did the recording, and I started to fool around with it, and I noticed that, like each, every time you do a new uh, solution to this uh, star puzzle, like this pentagram or whatever it is, it still does look right. I mean, it's always going to look off on this part because of how the, the thing's broken. But, the same, I think this is the way I eventually figured it out to be. It, it's always going to look off, but each solution actually works. And I had the right idea about this part, so I was actually right. I just had to had the star in the right place. My original thought that the only one place worked was incorrect. See, there we go. I think the metal door is unlocked. And that gave me the open sesame achievement. And of course, uh, we had the flashlight already, so that's fine. I don't know, I totally forgot what I was just going to say about that. So I haven't... All I did last night after I opened the doors, I went inside it and saw this and immediately exited. I have not gone a step past this, so... We'll go down in these steps and see what's going to go on. Let's see. Okay, why is the flashlight screwing up? What timing? The batteries are dying. Hold on. It'll be right back. I just had to step away from the computer for a second. That no, shouldn't have been long. So I wonder when the battery is actually going to die. That stone doesn't look very promising. Actually, none of these do. I'm getting out of here. Can we, uh, okay. Obviously, we can. I don't know if this guy's afraid of swimming or not, but. There are tunnels on the other side. I can't say a way to get over there. Well, who knows what's in that water? I mean, with all this, these crazy cults and... What the? What the hell? Uh... Uh, why don't you look at the dude before he gets over here? What's happening? I need to get out of here. Oh, he'll do, I think he does the running on his own again. Let's get out of here. We'll probably fall into another dream sequence. It's locked? If, man, if dude starts coming after me. Let's try it again. What the hell? I knew dude was gonna come after me. Open the door. Okay, what was that? Is that the gator guy? Looks like one of the gator guys from the statues. And Curtis Howard Howard again. So gator guy got us, but as far as we know, unless 
unless the, all the coughing and the gas put him in a dream sequence he doesn't realize he's dreaming. And as far as you know, this time it was real. The last time we had some guy like reach out and grab us, it was in a dream. So were we are we held captive in some kind of This looks like Brunbell's mansion. Yeah. We somehow got upstairs. Well they're very nice of the of the crazy guy to put us upstairs. Instead of killing us. I mean, geez. Nicest psychopath I've ever met. Not that I've met any, but hey. How did I get there? Shit, me, how did I get here? What just happened? What was that thing I experienced down there? I guess it could be how did I get there, but that just that doesn't sound right. That explains, like, that's more like if you explain to somebody, like, uh, if Hal would explain, like, oh, I don't know how I got there. If you're already there, you should say, how did I get here? Or is it possible, let's imagine all this. Am I really going mad? Mad as a hatter. I cannot tell the difference between the real and the unreal anymore. And yet again, I say, I totally called that. Like, the first nightmare. What is happening to me? So, I'm just going to see. I don't think it'll let us do it, because he's obviously not wanting to go down there again. Oingo's playing Bastion, that's one of my friends. He's also playing Five Nights at Freddy's, and I don't want to watch him hear him scream, honestly. But, surprised he's going back down there. I just want to try it out. I don't know if someone's locked, though. Really? That is strange. I doubt he'll go through this door, even though either that or it's locked again. It seems there is something blocking the door. After and after what I saw there, I'm not willing to enter again. Yeah, that's when I begin back up and being like, "Yeah, we're coming in here, guns blazing." So, right now, I can't think of anything else, like any of the clues that could lead me to anywhere else. So I'm thinking it probably let us let us leave Runbell's mansion at this point, and we fall into the dream sequence, or we're given another clue, or there's something that that leads. And I'm going upstairs just to make sure nothing happens up here. That leads us to our next place, our next clue, or whatever. But there may be also may be a clue that I'm just not seeing. Not seeing anything up here. I don't. Let's just try to leave the mansion. So I doubt you have to read one of the documents you've already read to trigger us the thing. I'm trying to think if we even got anything new from the mansion that we didn't use. We got the plates. Yes, we got the plates. Do we still have them? Did somebody steal them? No. Well, yeah, he'll leave now. I wonder if he'll go in the garden. This is a really... There is a really big garden. I know, I probably can't use this disc on there, but... I just want to see if it was unlockable. So, obviously, either it's unimportant or it's unimportant at the time. It may come later, like, well, I need to check out the garden. I think this door leads to the mansion's entrance. I need to find that ancient looking building which was mentioned in the letter. Okay, so now let's go back home. Uh oh, I st I, as soon as I clicked it, I didn't realize what I did. I don't think he'll go to sleep. 
I don't want to sleep. I'm trying to think if there's anything that I've encountered that I could use the plates on. Oh man, that was a good guess, but it didn't work. I think I've already tried this. We don't want to try it again anyway. And I don't think this will work either, but I want to try it. So, why'd I go in there? I cannot think of anything at this point that actually can have anything to do with what we found, what clues we have, what we're doing. So basically, I really did think something was going to pop up and be like, well, you know, I don't think there's anything else in the mansion that we can... Do we still have the... Did it take it away? Uh-oh. I heard of a glitch that takes the muddy flashlight away. No, I don't know if that was... So I read a bit about it. So what I'm going to do is... Walk around and see if I can get anything to work. It's locked now. You won't say anything more about the eye symbol. So when I save, I'm going to uh, I'll do all the I'll do the investigating off camera because that's not any really any progress or anything. For one thing, let's check the attic, because, like Artemer said, there is a Loth Nolder, Nolder Junior on there, which I didn't see. Let's go ahead and find that while we're here. And thank you again for that information. There's one of these. Ah, there we go. I knew there had to be a star symbol somewhere. Same thing everywhere. So all those books are the same thing. There we go. For some time, I we have been searching for a particular book, the Time Bore. Did not read read this. But in this case, I haven't. It is a translated version of the book called Infantus. Infinitus, I think I have. Which is yeah, which is impossible to find. Tell me we're trying to un underline all this. being things being uh summoned 
Yes, that's what we found in Samuel Will and Poe, or so I'm definitely... Let's just try to. I don't think there's anything else in this document, actually. Uh, that may not actually be the journal entry, so let's look for it. Because I found that. I would have found that in the video. Because I underlined everything. What's that over there? I guess I just sent a window or something. Let's not be important. There it is. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. My aim in writing these notes is to document information of archaeological importance. No, this is not scientific. Even so, I feel an urgent need to write. Sitting here, I'm surrounded by a dark and obscure jungle. My investigation has led me here, accompanied by my guide who grudgingly agreed to come with me at the behest of his village, and now I wait for him to back a path through the dense underbrush, thick ivy, and high grass. <coughs> Your Pokemon in the high grass. I will continue riding, although the skin is peeling off my hands. Jesus, and they ache unbearably. Also, I hate to think what effect the humidity will have on my papers. Dude, I won't be writing my freaking fingers will, skin of my fingers falling off. Neither do I know how far away I am from the jungle village that I left six days ago, nor do I know how much farther I have to go. My guide must stop to rest frequently. I know that he is becoming increasingly afraid of me. My nervousness grows I approach, as I approach my goal in this dense jungle where I suspect no human being has set foot before. That's never good. It always leads to curses and stuff. It may very well be that I am mad, or everybody's mad. The thought has crossed my mind some night since leaving the jungle village, whose name I can't pronounce. Leaving that disgusting village was a relief. I continue to travel through the forest with my guide. He doesn't speak my language, and in spite of the fact that he's experienced, I think we may be lost. At a town 147 miles away from the village, the locals warn me that about excuse me about camels in the region that don't welcome strangers. Well, how how has no man ever set foot there if there were cannibals there? They told me that it would not be wise to go there, but the quietly whispered words of the townspeople aroused in me a feeling of curiosity that was impossible to ignore. I was told that the other tribes in this region have an animalistic region. That's not animalistic. Animistic region. Religion. While this one follows a very dark, monotheric one. Monotheistic one. The people who I spoke with told me that tourists scientists and other travelers are frequently attacked when entering the region. I hear some disgusting rumors about missing people ending up as fair on the banquet tables at strange nocturnal festivals. Wow, that kind of looked like the African uh, statue. When I first set eyes in the village, the thing that caught my attention was the strange architectural style of it. Nothing like a primeval village. I stayed on a hill to the south of the village, observing it for a long time. The wide spread spiral shaped huts with it, with walls made of dried mud, in contrast to the green background, were reminiscent of some crustaceous sea creature. I know now that their design was derived from a far more splendid architecture. The colossal Trilithon, which stands at the entrance to the village, is decorated with carved figures and what looks like writing. On closer examination, the size of this ancient trilithon was awe-inspiring. I immediately understood that it had come from somewhere else and had been transported here with great difficulty from some faraway place. Uh, we'll get close to time. I'm going to finish this up and then end it. 
I spent fourteen fear-filled days and nights in that cannibal village, and witnessed many disgusting and vile things. We had a great difficulty communicating, although some of the villagers understood a few words in my language. They treated me kindly and were quite hospitable from the start, as though they recognized me somehow. I was never, 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 never able to figure out why. Even though I repeatedly told them my name, they addressed me by another similar rank. name. I cannot pronounce it, but the closest approximate is Ithaut. Ithaut. Hello, Ithaut. I want to know Ithaut. As the days passed, I noticed that they treated me with increasing respect. This did not change my feelings towards them. The diabolical dances started to be performed during the last days of my visit there, and I thought they were performed because of a great fear that I that was felt towards the jungle. These dancers were accompanied by uh, canophonous hymns, and only terminated when all the participants smacked their palms crazily on the ground. Well, they're smacking palms on the ground again. That's a recurring thing. I don't think it's going to do anything, but I want to try it anyway. And there was a group of people who said to me that they were going to some ruins in the depths of the jungle. But I secretly watched them and noticed that after these silent, regular nocturnal visits, when they returned sweating, there were fewer people present than the number who had set out. That's disturbing. Anyways, I don't want to spend any more time writing about them. We will be leaving here shortly, and these may be my final entries. The pain that I felt gradually is gradually getting worse. Even walking has started to take its toll. My body becoming controlled and contorted. About say controlled. Why is that? Why does body look so weird? Oh, there's a there's a thing on my screen. That's why. And deformed. Just holding this pen is difficult. This is nothing but a curse. For some time I have been seeing spiral ruins. Spiral. And ornamental blocks with hieroglyphics or drawings on them. Well, let's try that again. No. The serpentine branches of the grotesque trees clutch at the sky and silent wells are open to the dark depths of the earth, lending me to believe that I am approaching my goal. I am searching for some nameless ruins in the middle of the jungle beside me. Beside me, my skinny cannibal guide. Well, I won't be I won't be hanging around with a cannibal, I can tell you that. I wanna see if he says something about that. Keeps looking over his shoulder at me in fear as if I too were one of the raw creatures of the jungle. Although we have traveled North up to this point, I can see from the moss on the bark of the trees that we've changed direction and are heading east. I don't trust this cannibal with me. He watched passively. Well, yeah, of course, he's a cannibal. He watched passively while holding his machete in his hand as a crazy gorilla attacked me. I will not forget his hopeless expression when I won that bloody struggle. Alright, well, that's it for this video. I'm going to try next time and maybe unwind more stuff, maybe find a hidden clue or something. No, they get I think that give us a clue or did they just No, it's just an extra thing. Alright, um I'll probably do another video later tonight. Until then, peace out.